Hey guys, it's Don't Hit Me, I'm Spooked, and welcome to my 8k Q&A special. And, I mean, 8k, Jesus Christ, the last one I did was at 3k, and that was approximately three weeks ago. And, I mean, that's a total of 5,000 more subscribers in that span, which is insane. But, thanks for the support on my videos and stuff, and I will continue to make them. But, I'll be on hiatus for a bit, so I have to pre-record a lot of stuff here. Yeah, anyway, let me begin the Q&A. So our first question comes from Kaz. They ask, will you ever do gaming videos? Well, yeah, I have plans to do gaming videos. As you can see in the background right now, I'm using some gaming footage from my old channel and stuff. But at the moment, I can't record gaming videos and stuff like that due to my fraps has been corrupted. And that's why my PC is getting sent off. But hopefully, when everything gets fixed up, I'll be able to record gaming videos. I want to play through Undertale Genocide and some other few games that I'd like to do. But, yeah, look out for that in the future. I don't know when that will be, but I have plans to do it. But, it won't be anytime soon, sadly. Next, we have a question from Sly Slick. They ask, what made you want to start YouTube? Well, the main reason I wanted to start YouTube back in the day was because I was a big fan of Pokemon and I watched all these Pokemon YouTubers, so I wanted to give it a try then. And it derailed into Minecraft. Then it derailed into reaction videos, which I've stopped now. Then it's derailed into reviews, which my channel got terminated. Then it derailed into whatever I'm doing now. <laughs> Bankeron asks, what's your favourite idea? Mine is thinking creatively. Techno asks, favourite hentai? Well, this is a hard decision for me because I'm kind of that Bokuno Pico kid. Uh, or, But I also prefer Anal Sanctuary 2. Emoto Paradise 2 or Sun Sun Made Wa Ero Ero Dusu. Techno also asks favourite dildo. Well, my favourite dildo is the Dora Aqua Pet Limited Edition Dora version. Techno's third question is favourite picture of an obese man. Well, my answer to that, that question is the picture of H3H3 H3 as Kool Aid guy that we found on Project Murphy. It is godly. The next question comes from Astra Changewing. Their first question is, how old are you? Uh, I am 15. Their second question is, what is your real name? That uh, My real name is Rory. Right. The third question is, where are you from? Uh, the UK. Fourth question is, what superpower would you like to have? Uh, I, I think I'd like x-ray vision because, you know, I could just find buried gold and become rich. You know, that, that's, that's my game plan here. And number four again, what form of undying do you like more? The undying normal one in dating clothes or in armor? Uh, normal one, just just class classic undying, you know. Uh, and I think this question is directed to me. It's from Lane Games. Then they ask, "Are you dating?" Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Because a vision softly creeping Arctillas LP asked What would you do if YouTube failed? Well, I think the most reasonable solution here is to just drink bleach, to be honest. Petro Psychotic asks What's your favourite game? Well, my favourite game is of course Undertale. If you if you can't tell by my channel and all the Undertale videos I've done so far, you, know, you need to get glasses. Should have gone to Specsavers, am I right? Michelle Rios asks, your favourite anime? My favourite anime is either Full Metal Alchemist or Mechacoos the Actors. It's really hard to decide between those two. LPS Emily TV asks, what's your dream job? Well, my dream job is to be an animator as cartoons are really cool and, you know, cartoons are my life. Because I have no real life. <laughs> Rat Gamer asks, which game is your favourite game? And as I said before, it's Undertale. Dimitri Rules asks, If you were stuck on an island with no food, who would you want to be with? Papyrus, Steven Universe, or Temi? Well, I would honestly choose Papyrus because, you know, he can cook spaghetti out spontaneously. Just cook spaghetti because, I mean, how would they get the ingredients in the underground? It must be witchcraft. Papyrus could just summon spaghetti for me, you know. That's my one way to get out. I mean, Steven would be good company, but, you know, I'd love that cold spaghetti. Bad Tem asks, 
What's your favourite YouTuber and what is your favourite Undertale character? Well, my favourite YouTuber has to be Rebel Taxi just because I love his videos and all his reviews are really funny, everything about them, and I love watching them. I also love his Pizza Party podcast. But also tied with Rebel Taxi, I really like Pyrocynical. Pyrocynical makes amazing commentaries and other things as well, and I've been there since his MLG videos, which were also pretty funny. Pole Gonzalez asks, What is your favourite movie, music, and cartoon? Well, my favourite movie is Inside Out. My favourite music, genre or something. My favourite genre is probably 8-bit. And my favourite cartoon is Gravity Falls. Watchamingo XD Flipper Cap asks, how you will react if you reach 69,690 subscribers. Well, I think I'll have to go rethink my life and complain about how I'm not at 696,969. The next question comes from the man, the legend himself, Ducktown. Uh, Ducktown asks, have you ever voice acted in anything? Uh, well, my answer to that is no, except the comic dubs I did, because... I have a shitty voice, I can't voice act for the shit, you know. Uh, what's your favourite cartoon? As I mentioned before, it's Gravity Falls. And what advice could you give me on expanding my YouTube channel? Well, my advice to you is on expanding your YouTube channel is to stay relevant. Like, for me, I make a review of the new Steven Universe episode and that gets me a couple thousand views because, you know, that's one of the top search things for the day. So, that's a way to expand your channel. Try to stay relevant and you'll find new people will find your channel easier other than, like, relying on old stuff. Because if you do something really old, not that many people will find it. But if you do something that's relevant and new and many people will search for it, you will get uh, pr quite a few subscribers as relevant on my channel. Uh, but another piece of advice is... DO NOT MAKE DON'T HUG ME I'M SPOOKED TURNS INTO A PONY! PLEASE! NO MORE! Our next question comes from Josh Anor and they ask... When did you start watching Gravity Falls and what got you interested into it? Well, I've been there since the beginning. I started watching Gravity Falls back in 2012, and the thing that got me hooked into it was the characters. Everything about it was enjoyable. It was like reliving my childhood with Scooby-Doo and all that, those mystery shows and Sylvester and Tweety Mysteries. But this was the new cool thing to watch, and I loved every episode of it. I was hooked from the moment it started, and it will forever be my favourite show. Sassy Mom asks... Which is your favourite Stomedy video? Well, that's a pretty easy question. My favourite Stomedy video is the one where he smokes a piece of cardboard. That's the best one. The next question comes from Wonder of Yonder, Best Friend Forever Stars. Their question is, do you love Wonder of Yonder? My answer to that is, I like Wonder of Yonder. I've never really watched the show in depth. It's only a casual thing I watch from time to time when it's on Disney XD. But it, it's sad that it's ending and it had it was a nice show while it lasted. But hopefully whatever Craig McCracken produces next will be as good as the Powerpuff Girls and Wonder of Yonder. Checker Queen It's Tortilla asks, what will be the future for your channel? Well, I'll be doing more animations related content and probably more Undertale content until the fandom dies or becomes cancelled like Five Nights at Freddy's. But hopefully I'll do enough to satisfy my whole fan base so I don't just keel over and die. <laughs> An Ordinary Flowey asks, do you hate me? No? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Rohab Thomas asks, If you were to change something about your favourite franchise or just a movie or TV show, what would it be? I would personally change the ending of Season 1 of Legend of Korra so it didn't seem like such a convenient ending. Well, to be honest, I don't think I would change anything as it's the creator's choice to do so. 
on that thing and whatever they went with was pretty good and there's nothing really bad that's happened in the TV show but if I was forced to I'd have liked more stuff to happen and the yeah, finale of Gravity Falls because there are so many questions went unanswered I know we're getting most of that in the real life journal we're getting in July but I'd have liked more to be seen in Gravity Falls rather than in the book we're getting. Avery Thomas asks are you Cartoon Realms? Yes. And the pig cow asks, "What phone do you have?" I have a, a Sony Xperia Brick. It is horrible. It is painful. It doesn't break either. Bernie Muller asks, "Let's talk more about ships. What do you think of Amidot?" Well, uh, Amidot is a nice ship, but uh, of course I'm Labrador. Labrador ship number one. And La Pearl. Well, I'm more of a La Pearl shipper than I would have been an Amidot shipper. Cause, but honestly, I don't think they would be a good ship due to the fact they're not that close. And as Pearl still longs for Rose, the only one I can see working is Pearl Mephist because of the fact that Pearlnet wouldn't work because they're already a relationship as stated before. And Amethyst is still pretty close to Pearl, so that may happen, may not. They also ask... Who's your favourite ruby from Hit the Diamond? My favourite ruby is the sassy one. The, the best one. The, the, the best, best one. Pam Ryan asks, how many knives do you have? I have one knife. Pam Ryan also asks, what's your favourite food? My favourite food is spaghetti. Another question from Pam Ryan. What have you the idea to start doing React videos? Well, I started doing React videos because it was the fun thing to do. I saw all these other people reacting to Steven Universe and stuff. So I started reacting to Steven Universe and such and such. And then my channel got terminated and I died. Burrito Boy asks, do you have a girlfriend? No. <laughs> <laughs> Dodge4 asks, what was your favourite YouTubers React to Undertale video? Well, my answer is, my favourite YouTubers React video was YouTubers React to defeating Donald Trump. Sans the Skeleton asks, what is the most important thing you have planned for your life? Well, I really want to meet my internet friends, there's a few people I really want to meet and my other plan is to move to Sweden, I really want to move to Sweden, for no particular reason. The next question is from Lameka Burdett, and they ask, Do you like Sans or Papyrus more? Well, I like Sans more just because he's more of a joker. I mean, Papyrus is funny because he gets aggregated easily, but I only still like Sans more because he's way more hidden character, and he, he does a lot of bad time stuff. Dragon360KillerX says, 12 people went to the hospital after getting food poisoned, and then came back. How many people were left? Hmm. Papyrus, because he, he never gets food poisoning. One, 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 wait. If they're all people, they turn into skeletons. Doesn't that mean... Fuck, I'm bad at riddles. Next, we have a very kinky question from Coyven, bring the bomb, Solano. They ask, butthole boobs, and my answer to that is boobs. My good friend, go underscore, asks, are you going to kill yourself anytime soon? Well, most likely, that, that's what I have planned for the future videos at, like, 12k subs, I'm going to do a, a bleach drinking challenge. Sean Hunter asks, what do you think about Undyne when she forces Frist to take cooking lessons since Papyrus wasn't there for him? Uh, Undyne was really funny in that scene, uh, more respect to Undyne there, kudos to Undyne for being one of the best characters. Josh asks, are you a virgin? Well, I, I think it's pretty obvious at this point, so, seeing as those l last two questions, I, th I think you've come to that uh, resolution. Zoe Marshall asks, on a scale of one hot dog to one million sparking plates of papyrus's cooked spaghetti, how much do you love on the tail? Uh, I love um, Undertale as much as uh, Alphys loves Undyne. CureBeatFan26 asks, what is your favourite Undertale route? Well, my favourite Undertale route is the True Paths Fist, of course, because we get more extent into Azriel and the whole backstory, and it is such an emotional scene at the end of the True Paths Fist route, so 
I, I love that for that reason. Royal Fireblade Pixel Gun 3D asks, Would you watch the Almighty Loaf's speech and pray to him? Your, uh, your fantasies can't ever be quenched, can they? You freaking freaks! What will you learn? What will you learn? That your actions have consequences! Mental Gen asks, what is your favourite character in Undertale? My favourite character in Undertale is a type between Undyne or Sans. The Worldly Psychopath asks, are you a furry? Bad touch! Bad touch! Stranger danger! Cancerman asks, out of the YouTubers you show, which one of the YouTubers is your favourite? Or well, my favourite one of the ones I include in the YouTubers react has to be Vine Soft Joel. Future Gamers asks, how long does it take to make episodes? Well, it takes me about... Four hours, I'd say, to make a YouTube React episode, due to the time it takes to actually download them, because most of them are in live stream format, which is like four to seven hours. So it will take a long time for me to download those, and then putting them together takes about an hour or 30 minutes. It depends on like how many YouTubes I'm including in the actual thing. Frostfire asks, why don't you have more subscribers? Well, I'm pretty happy with the amount of subscribers I have right now. I've got like 5,000 in the past 30 days, and, I, and that's pretty insane at the moment. I don't, I don't think I deserve that many subscribers, to be honest. My content isn't that stunning, and I, I'm surprised I made it this far. I'm nearly at 10k, and that, that's insane. Eric Harrow asks, will you ever do a Let's Play series? Well, yeah, I have plans in the future. As I said before, I'm going to be playing Undertale Genocide if I get Fraps working, and I will be doing some Pokemon Let's Plays of Omega Ruby and the new Sun and Moon games when they come out. ET Upgrade asks, are you a dog using the computer? No, I'm a fish. Pretty Little Psycho asks, what is your favourite thing about Metaton? The legs. Undertale Fan asks, Sans or Papyrus and FNAF or Undertale? First one, Sans. Second one, Obviously Undertale, because there's, n there's no FNAF videos on my channel now, is there? Jfellow asks, Would you rather kill yourself or be friends with Stomedy? Well, to be honest, I'd rather kill myself, because... To be honest, if I live with Stomedy, he'd probably kill me. Just just saying. The Mixel Puffin 83 asks, What is your favourite YouTube video? And the answer to that is, Undertale, Undyne in a Nutshell, by the Como Scenist. Pedro Henrique asks, when will you do the next Undyne YouTubers React? Well, all my YouTubers React series come out on Wednesday if it's Undertale, so always look out on uh, Wednesdays for the YouTubers React to Undertale. The next question comes from Kirby, and they ask, who's your favourite Undertale character? As I've said it before, it's a tie between Sans and Undyne. GamerXD asks, what's your favourite Undertale moment? Well, I have a few. Uh, I loved Sans's puns at the start of the game, because when I got, first got into Undertale, I was, like, not expecting much. I thought it was just another FNAF crappy game with a crappy fandom, but then that just shocked me and my friend, and I got hooked into the game, and we, we knew it was going to be good. But my second favourite moment is when Papyrus flies through the window at Undyne's house. That was a great moment. Our next question is from Nico, and he presents it like a book because this is the longest amount of questions ever. So, Nico's first question is, When did you realise that you were a racing car all along and began to cruise down the streets as a car-human hybrid? Well, I, I pretty much figured that out when the TV show came out. I'm like, yo, this is my destiny. I need to become this racing car. I need to be this true human-car hybrid. Number two is suck or suck. I, I'm going to go with suck. Number three is end my suffering. Okay. Four. Question. Five. Have you ever tried cocaine? It's not the same as cocaine, so don't get mixed up. Number six. When people are shocked at a post on Instagram, why do they talk like this? Because in reality, they are doing it on purpose. I, I, I don't know that. Seven. Dion. Dion. Eight. Can you dab? Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not hip and cool here, Nico. You're talking to the wrong guy here. Number nine. What does raw mean in dinosaur? Hint. It may mean kill me with a needle in my foot. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think I think you're right there. Solve this riddle. I put question mark to make it a question because English. The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues.
The 20 meter pacer test will begin in 30 seconds. Line up at the start. The running speed starts slowly, but gets faster each minute after you hear this signal. We'll, we'll skip the rest to save time, but using this info, how many fingernails does Techno Sinister have? Well, I, I'm honestly thinking nine here. He could have got one ripped off while he was filming one of his videos, you know. You never know the, the backstory in some of these videos, like when Techno Sinister drank a milkshake and it turned out to be weed, like nobody saw that coming. So, so I, I don't know. Calmbreeze28191 asks, Do you hate Nickelodeon? I hate modern Nickelodeon, but I like original Nickelodeon with Danny Phantom and the rest. Lane Games them asks, Will you ever do a Let's Play on your channel at all? Like I've said before, yes, I will. I also have one question for you. What are those? Be right back, I'm gonna go kill myself. Javante Balloon asks, Are you being undying? I'm always being undying. Natalie asks, Bernie, Trump, or Hillary? Well, I've got to say uh, Trump here because, you know, he's a pretty big meme. He has a small loan of a million dollars. And also, he he knows a lot about China. Natalie also asks, Who is your favorite American? Uh, I guess you, if, if you're forcing me to answer this. Cause I, I don't really know any more Americans anymore. They're, they're all gone. They're all Minecraft kids. Go shoot Minecraft kids. And our final question is from Fox Soup, and they ask, "Do you have an Undertale slash any fandom OC?" Well, I, I have this thing. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this Q&A. It took a long time. I didn't think we were going to get this many questions, but you know, three K and eight have a difference here, so that's what I was expecting. Hopefully, I do more of these in the future, but I won't be able to do as much because I spent about like five hours on this, so it was pretty big editing. How I started at six, and now it's eleven, so. That is a total of literally five hours, as I said. But thanks for 8k subs, and I hope you enjoy my content in the future. So yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys next time.